She's doing a playgroup in ten minutes. You're joking! Why didn't you wake me? I tried to. Lazy head. Yeah, well, it's no wonder. How many times did you wake me up last night? One, two, three, four, fifty! Yeah, and he's not exaggerating. You know, it takes a while to get used to a new place, doesn't it? You make yourself a cup of tea, I'll sort these two out. Sweetheart. Oh, mm. Rumpy! Hi, right, sweetheart. You miss me? Thought you might have called. Well, I'm spoiling the surprise. You'll get a hug. Oh, don't rush. Behave yourself. I was hoping we'd seen the back of you. Ah, oh, well, the feeling's mutual. Enjoy your little soak, did we? Went to Vegas, actually. Ooh. Spent a bit of cash. Made a few new friends, if you know what I mean. Oh, we don't need the details. Well, me and Deb's had a great time, too. In fact, she hadn't enjoyed herself this much in years. Isn't that right, kid? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, really good. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Shouldn't they two be off? Yeah, I'm just taking them. It's all right, I'll do it. You've got a garage to run. And she is in no fit state to be seen in public. Not a pretty sight first thing in the morning, are you? Well, this is a turn up for the books. Thought it should be long gone by now. Go on. Sorry to disappoint you. How long's she stopping for? For as long as she wants. And if you don't like it, tough. You were the one that tried to make me choose. Yeah, that might be a bit unreasonable. A bit? You better not have come home to cause trouble. I just don't think you should take her at face value. Well, you've made it very clear what you think. We've been getting on fire while you've been away. Be nice to her. Taking the kid to school, aren't I? No, properly nice. Not winding her up like just now. Don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. If you're going to get difficult, you can take a plane back to Vegas. <sighs> OK. I get the message. Just don't mess things up, all right? Did you want something? Not from you, no. I heard you had better luck in Vegas. Me? Yeah. Debbie mentioned something. It's good to see you back, man. You know, well, it won't be if you don't mind your own. All right, sorry. What's his problem now? I don't know, I gave up trying to figure him out a long time ago. <laughs> He's not the only one in a bad mood, though, is he? I was thinking, maybe the reason that Layla is blanking you is because she fancies you and she's scared to admit it. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened. You wouldn't, though, would you? No, of course not. She's got a boyfriend. You're really moral, aren't you? No, I just... I like to treat people with the decency they deserve. That's all. It's not crime, is it? No, but it's hardly rock and roll. <laughs> for two minutes, lads. Charity. Half a bit of love, please. I'll get that. Why? Because I'm a generous fella. Well, in that case, make it vodka and tonic, ta. Oh, you haven't changed. Oh, why would I want to? You know, I could use someone with your spark and energy. I'm sure you could. <laughs> in the factory, I mean. I gave up manual labour years ago. <laughs> However, if you've got an executive opening with an obscenely large salary, then I'm your girl. I wouldn't bother if I were you, mate. Why's that? She rents herself out by the hour, but she's not as cheap as she looks. Why don't you just go and play with your garage? All right. So all of a sudden you're not an ex-prostitute. My mistake. So you tell me about Vegas or what? Let's just say uh, a few new friends, if you know what I mean. You are not half as clever as you think you are. Hey? Oh, yeah, you can dress yourself up nice, flashy cash about. It not make you anything special. Let his punter knock you back, did he? I don't appreciate being ridiculed by a worthless piece of pawn life like you. Oh, yeah, and you're dead classy, aren't you, eh? Dropping your kecks for any bloke with half a quid in his pocket. We both know there are plenty of blokes I wouldn't touch with a barge pole. I can name one in particular. Oh, now you're breaking my heart, sweetheart. But I can have G any time I want. It's bugging you, innit? Have you looked in the mirror recently, Grandma? Hmm? You're well past your sell-by date. That's the problem for you women, isn't it, eh? All starts to sag and droop. No wonder Michael was more interested in your daughter. Afternoon. Chop dead. <laughs> That's no way to torture your uncle. Oh, not you! I thought you were going to make an effort. Yeah, I will when she stops winding me up. Hey, why? What's she done? Forget it. Oh. Where well, are you going all tarted up? Thought I might go into Leeds. Oh. Pull up on her. Maybe. Got one living somehow. So can you book me a cab? Yeah. Debbie's going to be dead proud to see you dressed like that. Debbie takes me for exactly who I am. She's got a very forgiving nature. Can't think where she gets that from. Well, I'll give you a lift if you like. Oh, 
like getting in a car with you again. Fair enough. Good luck. I hope you find a profitable street corner. Well, don't just stand there. Oh, I get it. You're not going anywhere, are you? You just want to see if you still look passable when you paper over the cracks. <laughs> Point taken. You are? Yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, you think I'm doing this for you? Won't file a fingernail for you. You've done a lot more than that over the years. That was then. Might come as a surprise to you, Kane, but some blokes are actually capable of loving you. <laughs> what do you mean, like Grandad Tom? Or with that bloke who was knocking off your daughter? Don't you laugh at me. No, you're right. It's pathetic, really, isn't it? I said, don't laugh. Boy! <laughs> Oi! Yeah. Oh, I hate your guts. I hate yours. Get your filthy hands off me. Yeah, right. Just let me go. Don't mess me about. This isn't going to work. You've already ridiculed me twice today. I've not even had my dinner. Don't tell me you don't like <sighs> I know what you like. I'm as bad. There's something inside of me that wants to see you squirm. What kind of example is that to set the kids? If we're stuck under the same roof, we're not going to be able to stay away from each other. No, we're not. Well, then. I need to move on, Kane. <sighs> I am sick of making the same old mistakes time and time again. You're a bit obvious for half past four in the afternoon, aren't you? What? The get up. <laughs> Have you looked in the mirror recently? It's not my fault I've got naturally charismatic legs. See? Debbie's fetching no Seeing as you can't be bothered. I came in here to get away from you. <laughs> I wasn't trying to lead you on. Forget about it. I already have. So what did you mean? Thinking of leaving? Maybe. We all knew you wouldn't stick at it. Well, everyone except Debbie. You need to tell her what your plans are. I don't know what my plans are. I've spent most of my life looking for ways to escape. And whatever I do, I always end up back in this dump. Well, that's where your family are. And that is the main reason I've stayed away. Maybe if you stopped thinking that you're better than the rest of us, you'd have fitted in more. What's all this whispering? You two are normally screaming at each other. Shut! Samson, stop poking it. <laughs> I'll do. Stop it. I mean, he don't need no filling, so I'm just getting him some toffees. Yeah, good for you. Well, go on. Serve the nice gentleman. <coughs> Why don't you say hello? Too ashamed to acknowledge your own cousin. I don't have a problem with Sammy. It's everyone else. I've only been back two weeks and I'm being treated like some two-bit slapper. Well, you're not doing yourself any favours, are you? And you haven't exactly helped either. OK. So I shouldn't have mouthed off in the pub. You'll keep doing it, though, won't you? And I'll keep rising to the bait, and it'll be the same tired old circle over and over again. What kind of reason is that for sticking around? I thought the reason was Debbie and Sarah. But was that just another one of your lies? I love Debbie with all my heart, you know. So you say. We're just pretending, though. Noah sees it, keeps asking me what we're still doing here. We're just playing happy families, trying to force something that we all know is not really there. It's real enough for Debbie. Oh, let's not kid ourselves, she needs me. She's got more now than I'll ever have. Noah is the important one. I've brought him up, I'm a proper mother to him, and this isn't where he belongs. Finally, you're being honest. You, you did ask. So basically what you're saying is, You'd abandon Debbie tomorrow if you had the chance. Well, that isn't going to happen, is it? How much do you want? Ten grand? What? Call it 20. You offering me money? On the understanding that you do want and never come back. 
Oh, you think you can buy me off? I know I can. Every bloke you've ever known has had to pay for you. You're worth about three quid on the open market and don't bother taking offence. Question is, do you want a daughter? Or do you want hard cash in your pocket? I've been thinking. I bet you have. Are you really prepared to give me that 20 grand? Just like that? Why not? You made it quite clear you don't want Debbie. That is not what I said. Well, she's not going to want to go away with you, is she? Even if you asked her. Which you won't. It's going to break her heart. Is that going to stop you? How soon can you raise the cash? Don't look like that. You offered. Yeah. And look how quickly you made your mind up. Next time you want to come back here and mess us all about, don't. You'll have your money by tomorrow. Thanks. I don't want your thanks. I want you out of our lives for good. It's for the best. You and me, we just... You think that's why I'm doing this? I don't give a toss about you. <gasps> if you say so. If you're going to hand it to me on a play, I'm not going to say no. So don't go thinking that I really wanted you. I'm glad you knocked me back. Reminded me of what you really are. I told you. I've changed. <sighs> yeah, you can spend the rest of your life running away from yourself, but you'll always be a grubby little tart. And who are you going to turn into, eh? Oh. What now? Oh, nothing. We're, we're fine, aren't we? I'm not stupid. We're just discussing things. What things? None of your business. Birthday surprise, will it? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Sarah's waiting for you to tuck her in. Right. See? Not so hard being nice, is it? <laughs>